Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the P4070 and we're looking at taxi and takeoff. First of all, our taxi preparation. Firstly, check that the flaps are in the raised position. So you can use the mouse or an adjust controls bind for that or a HOTAS bind. Fully up. Next, we're going to release the wheel brake. I'm going to right click there. Wheel brake released. Next, we're going to unlock the tail wheel. For taxiing, we'll have an unlocked tail wheel. So, right click on that guy there to unlock the tail wheel. Next, ensure that our engine cowls are fully open. So, press the HOTAS bind for the coolant cowls into the fully open position. Next, we need to interconnect the throttle lever and the boost lever if it's not already been done. If you're coming from a cold start, then it will not be done. So I'm going to apply some temporary brakes. I'm going to move the throttle lever forward half an inch. I'm going to merge the boost lever, left click and dragging it, and then I'm going to right click on the interconnect to catch it there. They are now interconnected. And you can see now, as I move the throttle lever, the boost lever or the turbo supercharger lever is attached to it. Next we're going to taxi to runway. I'll be using a low amount of throttle plus right and wheel brakes which will be bound on an axis on my rudder pedals. Note that we have our canopy open for taxiing. The real pilot will be looking out right and left like that, and will be Sing to make sure that he can see ahead and there's no traffic. But for this example, I know there's no traffic. Taxi into the middle of the runway. Line up. Okay, close the pack canopy, left control in the C, or I've got the switch there. The main gauges that we're going to be looking at for takeoff will be our speedo here in miles per hour and our manifold pressure gauge here. Manifold pressure is going to be measured in inches. Next, check that our mixture control knob here is in the auto ridge position, and I think it is already, yes, it's already in auto ridge. Next, let's look at our trim. We've got trim wheels here, here and here, or you can bind them to your hood house, obviously. We want neutral elevation there. We want neutral aileron there, as we've got both of them. And for our rudder, we want takeoff, and we've already got it selected to takeoff there. You can change some of these wheels with your mouse squirrel wheel up and down. Note, if your auxiliary tank is full, then you can set the elevator tab quarter of an inch forward of white mark. Back to flaps again, if it is a particularly short runway, then you can use about half flaps if you want to help get airborne quicker. Now, very important, ensure that we have our tail wheel lock on now. We won't be able to take off without that on. That's purely for taxiing when we turn it off. Next is the spool. So, both wheel brakes on temporarily. Throttle forward to 30 inches of manifold pressure going to pause to talk about the next procedure. At this point I will come off the brakes, I will increase the manifold pressure to 52, about that little red line there. That's going to be our takeoff manifold pressure. I will no longer use the wheel brakes, instead I will use the rudder only for controlling my yaw and keeping me central as I can on the runway. At around 100 miles an hour I'm going to slip forward slightly to raise the rear of the aircraft in typical warbird style. At 110 miles an hour or just above, slight aft stick to take off. Careful not to climb too fast at the beginning. Once positive climb rate is assured, then gear can go up. It's either this guy here or just press the G key on the keyboard. It's going to be easiest. If you've used your flaps for a short takeoff, please ensure that they're fully up before 145 miles per hour, which means you need to do that quick, else you can damage them. And once we're above 500 feet, AGL, then reduce to cruise, a maximum of 45 inches, basically that green section there of our pressure gauge. Off the wheel brakes, power up, rudder whichever direction we need to, 52 inches on the on the gauge, keep an eye on the speedo. Slight pitch forward to raise the rear, and now slight off to take off. We're up, little right rudder to compensate. Gear up, 
check the flaps, but they're already up. And we can start thinking about coming down now to 42 inches into cruise. And that's taxiing and takeoff in the P47D.